Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, we're going to be looking at the product of a column vector and its transpose. So let's start off by letting y be a column vector. All right, so if, if it's a column vector, it has n rows and one column. Notice it has as many rows as possible, but it only has one column. We have n rows. Now let's see if we want to transpose this, this um, vector, what happens? we would get the following vector, it would be a vector with one row and n amount of columns. Now, if we wanted to multiply these two vectors, right, we would get the following. Notice we are allowed to multiply them in this way because um, the y vector is uh, n by one and the its transpose is a one by n. So we can go ahead and multiply these, so we would get the following see we would get y1 times y1 plus y2 plus y2 times y2 plus y3 times y3 plus dot 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 yn times yn we can simplify this a bit more by right, clean it up a bit so this is actually y1 squared plus y2 squared plus y3 squared and then plus yn squared right it goes on to for as many terms as you have now we can again condense this into the sigma notation of a sum so this is actually the sum of um, y to the i squared where i is equal to 1 and it goes up to n. Now, the key thing here is that this sum is actually positive and that's going to be very important for the next proof that we're going to be looking at. So keep that in mind, this sum is positive. Why well, actually it's not positive, this sum is non-negative. This sum is non-negative. And the difference is that it can be positive but it can also be zero right how can it be zero well if your y vector is a zero vector then you're just adding and multiplying zeros and your vector is a zero so the important thing is that this is not negative it can be positive and also zero and we're going to use this fact for the next proof so if i want to clean it up a bit more i can actually write it out as the following I can just say well the sum of n i equals 1 of y i squared is let's go with greater than or equal to 0 again that's true because every time we multiply one uh, component from the transpose with the column we're getting squares right we're getting squares and these squares will make anything positive. So we're just adding a bunch of squared items. We're adding a bunch of positive items. If you add positive items, you will get another positive item. So again, the sum, the product of a transpose and it, its column vector will always give you a non-negative um, sum. All right, we're gonna use this later on. If you found that helpful, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.